Hey there. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Okay, so what just happened? What just happened? Oh, we figured out about um, who the the dwarf in red is, the murderer. We we actually found his mom. We didn't find him. So now we need to take this information and bring it to um. Yep, we need to bring it to this guy, the sleuth. The investigator. What is this place? What's going on with this place? Ah. Uh, oh, these are the finances. Uh, Guthrie Reserve, Happy Known Brew, High Spirits, Groceries and Butcher, Massage Oil, Leather Treatment, No Consequences Oil, and Salaries. Interesting. Um, incomes, Catering, Drinks, Hospitality. They are barely cutting even. If we need to find a replacement for the librarian. I, we're close to bleeding all of our savings and we need to bulk up for the little crisis chases away. All of our regulars back to their own sheets. We could ask the twins to work separately for now, I suppose. Wait, if right now is... Okay, never mind. I guess it's about to end. But aren't you expecting that you're about to get totally destroyed? Why would this even matter? There should be like a celebration before wartime efforts happen. Oh, whatever. Isn't Volo supposed to be here? I guess this is, this is where I expected Volo to be, but... It, no, he's, he's just in Baldur's Gate. I have no idea where Baldur's Gate is. Yeah, huh, this guy's having a good time. Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. He's good. Um, He's good. He's got a keen eye. Put you up to something. Man. They don't call you detective for nothing. Yeah, let's give him some sass. Why Throw some shade his way. On interrupting a perfectly good night. It's true. Why why try to get work done when you're I know that look. You, you have the option of doing nothing, fair. right? Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What you remind me of Devella? Who the hell is Devella? Why do you think I know who Devella is? This dude's <laughs> this dude's a dumbo, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This dude's a bit of a dumbo. Like the flying elephant. I made the joke already. I'm not gonna. Um. Yeah. Let's just tell him everything. Well, actually, I, I kind of don't want to tell him everything. He seems kind of incompetent. So. My assistant. Who's Devella? Yeah. She's posted in the lower city investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Oh really? Now back to it. What I'd like to speak with found? her. A ball plot. A ball plot. You as yeah. Well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Oh, really? She fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wall up in fear. Of course you would. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? I want to tell him as little as possible. It's not a theory of proof. This document contains information connecting the murders. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cut and dry. Yeah, why should I tell you? That's just insulting. I am an investigator. Sort of. But I'm off the clock. And this is Develler's pet. What? A weasel. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? Yeah, probably. He couldn't be bothered. You literally couldn't be bothered with this. Show her the list and I'll stay and inform the fist here. How do you know she'll be at the Elf Song Tavern? Why aren't you there? give you access to the lower city. Thank you. I already have one of those, but thanks, man. 
I wish I had a pass to get access to this city, whatever this what is. What are you waiting for? But... You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! Damn. Oh my god. Dude, this dude's got problems, man. Okay, now I guess I need to find... Oh. Boss, right. Boss was supposed to be here. How do I get up to Voss? Through here? Okay. Yeah, I'll... Head over this way. Who are these guys? Earspoon? Everyone else is just called Citizen. Maybe I should talk to them. Nim? These guys seem crazy. Wait, they're dressed like Shadowheart. Maybe they're like Shadowheart. Maybe they're followers of Shar. Isn't that what Shadowheart wore? Nah, I don't know. Open this? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be going into these rooms. We'll just keep trying doors. Oh, whoa. What's Raphael doing here? And Voss? Oh, no. What are they talking about? Seem like Orpheus. You said Forgotten Prince. Is that it? Are you guys gonna talk a little bit more? Devil's Den. You must hear me, Devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. Oof. And you never will. I assume I do have it. Kithrak, what deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of- What happened to your face, dude? Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to of course I do. return. Lazel, to Lak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. What's going on with those textures in the background? I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet, but to the final reckoning. What? One more thing before we begin, though. What's going on? What just happened? Oh. I see. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's... Didn't see, I guess. Settling. I thought something was going to happen. Oh! Oh, he just blocked out... The... What's his name? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid... The Emperor. Pocket ...out of your mind. It can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? Yeah, why'd you bring me here? What is this? I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. 
Unless... some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. Yeah, I'm the only one speaking admit, plain right now. You've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. Does seem like the it's best, going to, yeah. It will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. What? I mean, yeah, the astral prison, right? Orpheus. In a manner of speaking, but it's the one inside the prison that you need, not the Elithid, the Gith. I know. I can give you the means to break him free. But he's the one protecting Speak, me. Speak, devil. We're listening. Why would I do this? The Orphic. Okay, Alan, yeah, I guess go on. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my house of hope, even now. Thank you for telling me its location. Yeah, it seems very convenient that you have exactly what Isn't I need. It just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. It's crazy there how that is. lines up. Of course. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin too. Wait, how and does freeing Orpheus do that? Give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. But how am I going to take over? So is Orpheus just going to help me? What's happening right now? Okay, so I get the crown and then I can free Orpheus. I'm sure. I have craved it ever since the arch wizard Cassus created it. Long centuries ago, and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky. Jeez. Like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground yeah. came up to meet them. If everybody, <laughs> everybody loves flying cities it until it doesn't work and anymore. Cassus it's such a bad idea. <laughs> Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Sure. Cassus' folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world. And the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew it's awfully cynical, the but of sure. The could be the triumph of devils. And that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one arch devil supreme. And that would be you, Me. I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zaria wouldn't like that much. No, probably not. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands oh. 
That's a great point. Uh, I don't know if I'd want any devil. Man. Oh, uh, Bizarreal's pretty bad, though. God. But he would be my friend on the inside, though. You know. To function. It is but what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose. That's a scary a sales pitch. Unity, efficiency, control. Turn them into a manufacturing plant. Sure. Its borders and stay within them. It was stolen yeah. from right under my nose. He doesn't seem to be that Born great. Those centuries ago. I feel Judge like Devil Mephistopheles he has other people to do a lot of the stuff. Away in one of he could probably just do. Unless he's like weak as hell, but he doesn't seem weak as hell. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. You're a barbarian? Or so. then oh. I waited. Yo, you respect your classes eventually, sure. Years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen who have caused you so much trouble accidentally did me a favor. So I got it they back. brought the crown back into play. Jeez. I see, I see, I see. So that's why you approached us so long ago. How did you know that we were going to be... Somebody hmm. capable of opening a portal to the hells deep in the Because hells. he knew we had the artifact. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. I see. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather... Oh, that's a really cool abstract concept. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But There's Orpheus no would just kill me. Orpheus would be on your yeah. side. And would Orpheus do deal, anything? You'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? No, he's a devil. Skvar! But the Illithid is important. The, asks, the Prince of the Comet must rise again. Can the Emperor not free Orpheus? Isn't the Emperor focusing on keeping Orpheus there? I feel like he'll free Orpheus when it's all over. Maybe not, I guess. I don't know. How short-sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. Is that a threat? Yeah, what if I decide to control the crown myself? Once I have the nether stones. Three quote unquote mortals are controlling it now. Why can't three half illithids control it? Right? If I convince two of these individuals to join me on the side of being half illithids. You know. Um, I could just take control of the thing and... Control an elder brain, free everybody, do what I need to with it. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry, you were serious? Of course that's gonna the be your response to that. Low all who attempt to harness its power. Arch wizards, emperors, gods. Except for these three. It would tear you apart. 
pot. Okay. It's cute. But the the arch wizards or whatever have the nether stones that are a proven use. I don't know, man. I'm not signing up to give the devil access to this crown or an elder brain. That's too. That's too much, man. That's too powerful. I won't stop you. Especially the elder brain that allows. So, don't stay away. You know, creating thralls if that don't know that they're thralls yet. I'll that's insane. Waiting, right up to the moment the world ends. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. What's going on, Lazel? There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Oh. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Yeah. Hey, bud. That was that's kind of awkward, isn't it? Raphael. Well. Why would I lie to you, dude? Thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known. Devil would come sniffing. The He's been sniffing the whole time. You've seen him. Them. And what did he want with you? I don't got to be so accused, Tori, my man. <sighs> I don't know how much I want to be telling him, though. Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. I do like that he's got sarcasm, though. And what did he that humanizes him a little bit for me. You know what I mean. I am glad you had the sense to turn him down, but it certainly does matter. Anything that threatens our alliance threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Brain. So I ask you again, what were the terms of the deal he offered you? Yeah, it is kind of important. I was just kind of seeing if I could avoid telling him, but since he's pushing of course a horrendous deal yeah of you course you'd say that though sufficient power to dominate an elder brain atop a devil's head you would be trading one apocalyptic event for another yeah but Thank he you said you he'd take it to hell and so you know and now we must be doubly on our guard yeah i'm going to be triply on my guard cockroach. no matter what you do to it it will always come I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. You could probably smush him. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Isn't Without I... my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Yeah, that's fair. That's my favorite part. Oh, like watching these videos, it's just like having stupid remarks to everything that uh that he says. Okay, I gotta talk to Lazel, but I also gotta get the heck out of here. Why am I not talking to Lazel right now? I can just want to get out of the, the earshot of the devil. Oh, well, there's Voss. Olazel's held back. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Yeah, I'm not. Well, that's not exactly true. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. And yet it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Yeah. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kith so, against the Geich. What? Vinisk. What was happening? Underground. Seek me when you have the when the honor, honor guard was attacking the emperor. What was happening there? Was the honor guard going to be able to free Orpheus? No, right? They were not going to. What's what was the big deal? A devil of if the honor guard got to Orpheus, on the shores of the Styx. what would have happened? 
What would they have been able to do? He made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. He must keep the Orphic Hammer there. Every house has an entrance, Vinisk. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. So the Honor Guard was just attacking the Illithid. You are wasting your time and mine. I'll because he was there. The brain. Focus your mind there. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Where's Lazelle? Does Lazelle still want to talk? Lazelle does not still want to talk. She did want to talk, now she does not want to talk. So that's annoying. Hey. Hopefully it's something we can just talk about later. They'll just be conversation topics. Um, yeah, I could go. I think I'm not gonna make a pact with the devil. That seems like a very bad idea. But what is next? What's next on the list? Because I do want to solve these this murder and the attempted, I mean, murders at uh, Frego's Fireworks. Yeah, where's Volo? I guess he's not here. I think I saw Voss's name and I thought it said Volo and I had some association with Volo and this area. But he just kind of said he was going to be in Baldur's Gate, which could mean really anything. I don't actually know if Baldur's Gate I'm in Baldur's Gate. Is Baldur's Gate starting in the lower city? Does Baldur's Gate start at Rivington? I don't think so, but it's kind of what it's seeming like. Wait, Orin's... Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So Orin is like queen of the doppelgangers, probably, because she herself is a shapeshifter. Do you love honey so much? It's weird. So all of these murders are going to be leading to her, and then all of the um, and all of the security and um, corruption is going to be Gortash. But I guess they are kind of working together because Orin took out Duke Stelmain. But uh, it looks like that's all we got for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to be venturing into the lower city. So get excited for that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for listening. And I hope to catch you in the next one. See ya.